Hey, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joni, and I am the blogger behind SimpleLivingMama.com. And if you're new here, I wanna tell you guys what series we're doing here on the blog. My husband, Luke, and I just purchased a home on about seven acres, and we have been slowly doing projects around the house, doing things with the land and stuff like that. So we have a new series here on the blog. It's called Our Ivy Farmhouse, and that's what today's uh, video is going to be about. Um, today I actually styled this bookshelf that is behind me. I'm going to show you guys different pieces that I use, how I styled it, give you a little bit of history for this bookshelf so you can get some ideas so you can style your own bookshelf as well. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up when you're done watching. So we'd love to have you stick around. So this bookshelf was actually built by Luke many years ago. It has been used in all of our homes. It has been used as part of an entertainment center. And then most recently, just a regular bookshelf for all of our books. We now have a room that is just dedicated to books. So I can decorate this shelf however I want. So I was really excited about that. Luke repainted the shelf for me, and he also added some trim. Um, so it looks really nice in here. So here up on top of the shelf, we have his service flag that he has gotten. Um, if you don't know, Luke is in the US Army. So we have that displayed up here. I'm probably going to put a book underneath it so that way it sticks up a little bit further from the top of the shelf, but that is where we keep uh, his service flag. And then right here is the cake topper from our wedding. I have it sitting on top of one of my favorite um, home books called Theology of Home. So that is displayed right on the very top. Over here across from it, we have a blown glass uh, piece that Luke got for me several years ago. And I've always wanted it to have kind of a space of its own so that it stands out. So now it finally has an area where it can really be noticed. And next to it, we have two uh, flutes from our wedding. If you look closely, they say our name and our wedding date on them. So those are up here on this shelf away from little hands. I purchased some greenery from Walmart. Now this space down here is our den and our playroom. So there's not a whole lot of natural light in here. So no real plants are gonna grow over here in this spot. I did wanna give this area some greenery though. So I found this at Walmart and that is on this shelf. So I'm working on a collection of milk glass. I have only a very few pieces, but uh, this is my largest piece. It's a milk glass bowl. So I have it sitting on the bookshelf here. I saw this globe at Walmart when I bought the plant and I really liked it. So I thought we could add it to this space. I'm not sure how you know accurate it is. It looks like it's fairly accurate with all of the different countries and everything, but I liked the colors and I liked the way it looks. So it is on this shelf. Over here, I have a couple more of my milk glass pieces. I actually have two of these cups and I'm guessing the other one is still packed away somewhere because I haven't found it yet. But I also have this canister, milk glass canister. They all match with the uh, fruit pattern, but that is where those are sitting. Again, I added some fake greenery just to kind of liven the space up a little bit. And then the two bottom shelves, at least the two bottom shelves that I'm going to be decorating, I have um, a jar here. The lid is somewhere around here. One of my kids has misplaced the lid, but I will find it. Um, my grandmother gave me this jar and I just, I love the country scene. So it is sitting here on the shelf on top of a book of Christian hymns. And then finally, I have a very old Bible. This is something Luke made when he was a kid and I just stuck it here for now. Um, a postcard from Ireland. Luke sent me this postcard. Well, actually he got me several postcards while he was in Ireland. He didn't send them to me. He just brought them home. Um, but I decided to put that one there as well as this super cute Matryoshka doll. It's hard to open. It is from Tajikistan. He brought that home from me home for me on his last deployment. 
So here is the bottom of the bookshelf. I'm probably going to remove these two shelves because I have small children and a baby who will become a toddler before long. And I don't wanna put anything here that will be within her reach. I'm thinking about adding two baskets to this area just to hold like maybe baby toys or um, blankets, but we'll see. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.